We've said it before and we'll say it again. UAE is poppin' baby. Just last week, not one, but two high-tech exhibitions wrapped up in Dubai and Abu Dhabi, Jitex and Iris. And as always, we've got our eyes on the prize, bringing you the best of both worlds. Let's get it. First, Jitex Global 2024. This is one of the world's largest exhibitions of tech and startups in the field of robotics, AI, air transportation, smart cities, and more. One of the most impressive electric car concepts at the show was the Nissan Hyperforce, a 1360 horsepower supercar with the design of a real Batmobile. The body of the Hyperforce is made of super strong carbon fiber and goes from 0 to 60 miles or 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in just 2 seconds. The electric car is powered by a weight-optimized, high-performance, solid-state battery pack. Nissan E-Force's advanced and optimized all-wheel drive system provides optimal traction, while the driver can choose between two driving modes, R for racing and GT, Grand Touring. In race mode, the interior is illuminated in red and the display shows all the necessary specs for your Schumacher needs. In GT, the interior is blue and everything about the car provides a comfortable long-distance driving experience. Thumbs up if you want to test drive this bad boy! Also shining at Jitex was the Quintessenza concept car from Turin-based automaker Ital Design. From the front, it looks like a supercar, but from the back, it offers passengers the comfort and convenience of a pickup truck. The comfortable seats can do 180 and also unfold for you to enjoy a panoramic view of the landscape and stargazing on your trip. Now that's cozy. The company states that it built its design around the passenger and made everything to make him or her inside as comfortable as possible. The interface of the car is on top of the steering. Throw your smartphone in there for a standard set of dashboard gizmos or reorder, revamp and give it a makeover to suit your needs with a smartphone. Why go through all this trouble, you ask? Well, the developers thought that this would be the easiest way to personalize the driving experience. As the driver changes, so does the setup. For the past three years, Jitex has gone without the Amica robot, mm, not once. Remember when the robot, a global sensation, arrived at the event for the first time? It was immediately hired by the Museum of the Future in Dubai almost a thousand days later, and it still continues to greet visitors. Developed by a British company, Engineered Arts, the robot is equipped with AI to communicate and express emotions. One of its latest skills, Amika has learned to draw, which is fine and dandy, but when is it going to learn how to walk? If you got a crystal ball, folks, let us know in the comments. Even if you've never been to one of these, you most likely wouldn't be surprised to find out that Jitex's best practices involve getting a few cocktails made by a robot bartender. Can't cut in line with this barkeep, but also, no more free drinks irrespective of how pretty you are, lady. Individual flying machines attracted a lot of attention at the show this year. For example, the Air Scooter from Zapata, which is designed in a way that anyone can become a pilot. Equipped with a patented hybrid electric propulsion system, the device can reach a maximum speed of 62 miles or 100 kilometers per hour. But the kicker is its compact size and ease of operation. There are also robotic musicians. They, like bartenders too, are becoming an almost mandatory guest at any high-tech exhibition. Also at Jitex, Abu Dhabi Police General Command unveiled the Autonomous Patrol of the Future. The initiative is part of a strategy to improve safety and security. The patrol is designed to be used in both residential areas and off-road. It includes autonomous driving capabilities and has unmanned reconnaissance drones on board. The digital cockpit supports cloud computing and voice control, and of course, the device is claimed to have generative AI, computer vision, and other AI-based technologies. These systems will allow the car to process voice, data, and video, track criminal activity using sophisticated technologies, recognize faces, and read license plates. Cherry on top, 
The system is capable of remote diagnostics, maintenance, and fleet management. The only thing missing is a teleport at this point. Beam me up, Scotty. Check this out. A Cybertruck specifically designed for the Dubai police. These guys have almost as much class as the Dutch cops when they ordered Porsches. Jitex visitors were also encouraged to get a cuddle session from this cutie patootie, the Pepper Robot. Now, there were some weird things at the exhibition as well, like this suit, for example. What is this? An exoskeleton? A carousel? Is this for VR? What's the point of this? Let us know in the comments. Hashtag Pro Robots questions everything. Deep Robotics, a crowd favorite, brought its robot dog Light 3 to the show, where it made friends with Xiaomi's CyberDog. Mobin, a spin-off from the Korean Hyundai Motors, has been showing off its autonomous delivery robots that can navigate obstacles. The developers claim that their patented wheel system makes their robots very practical for delivery and patrol purposes. General Motors brought a luxury single-seat electric airplane with vertical takeoff and landing to the show, which is part of Cadillac's Halo concept portfolio. The futuristic model was first unveiled at the Consumer Electronics Show of 2021, and since then there has been no news on whether it will actually become reality. But the company is definitely ahead of the curve here with these developments. Tentatively, Cadillac plans to use a 90 kilowatt hour electric motor that will help their concept vehicles reach speeds of up to 55 miles or 90 kilometers per hour. The best part is that while flying, you'll be able to enjoy a panoramic view down below. All aboard! Also on display, Eddie Salad and UAE Native showcased multi-level group drones that operate exclusively on 5G networks. Incidentally, the companies recently teamed up and said that the goal of their partnership is to transform sectors such as passenger air transportation, logistics, surveillance, and other industries, including agriculture, firefighting, gaming drones, and you name it. These guys are planting flags left and right. As the low altitude economy is booming in Dubai, China's leader in flying cars, Expon Era, couldn't help but crash the party. The company's most striking concept presented at the show, an electric car that can race down the road like a sports car and when needed, unfurl its blades and fly like a classic Eve toll. It takes just two minutes to switch between the two. Now that is a real getaway car. The concept is already proven and tested, but prior to launching sales, the company plans to finalize flight control systems and hash out regulatory paperwork. And while the company has a more practical SUV model with a small helicopter in the back, it's the flying car that truly takes your breath away, doesn't it? Another developer from China, Kepler Technology, has also made an appearance at the show this year. They debuted their latest Gen 5 humanoid robot. Not much is known about it as of yet, but the manufacturer claims that it has a high payload capacity and great coordination. Once we know more, we'll let you know, so be sure to hit that subscribe button. In Dubai and the United Arab Emirates in general, drone delivery technologies and infrastructure are spreading like wildfire. For example, AI and machine learning based solutions from Zaintech. Their drones for industrial applications collect, store, and process information. Check them out. The UAE is also actively developing an electric vehicle charging ecosystem. At Jitex, this area was represented by Adnoc Distribution. They're working on an autonomous robot hand that recognizes the car with the help of AI and connects it to a charging port. The robot is weatherproof and lets car owners stay within the comfort of their vehicles in any weather. Promobot's Arty Robot sang songs at Jitex to entertain visitors. The robot promoter is designed to attract customers' attention to the brand. Or maybe we've just spotted the missing Backstreet Boy. Quick, somebody get him a contract! <laughs> a robot for the same purpose, but with a simpler design and more sophisticated functionality was introduced by Kobe Technolab Limited. Meet Odaigo. 
This nifty little thing has an artificial intelligence system that is advanced into motion recognition and real-time interaction. Odigo is capable of personalizing both content and audio for each visitor. The robot is positioned as an intelligent companion capable of creating a more meaningful connection between brands and their customers. It's hard to judge without trying it, but it's safe to say that the robot will find its place in Dubai, a city where innovation is introduced at every turn. Once a door closes, another one opens. Next, UAE's capital, Abu Dhabi, hosted the massive international robotics conference, IROS 2024. The first event of its kind in the Middle East and North African region attracted more than 10,000 participants, including major tech companies from all around the world. The conference and exhibition opened with an introductory video with historical references and demonstrations of technologies already in use in the UAE. And traditionally, the highlight of IROS is all sorts of robot competitions. At least two of them are a must-watch. The first is a maze and an obstacle course for four-legged robots. Look at the Unitree robot dog scrambling. The most treacherous trap here were the piles of small plastic boxes that surely ended somebody's career. And by the way, robots on wheels performed quite well at the obstacle course as well. In no way were they inferior to the quadrupeds. Now the second competition was robot soccer, and here it's interesting that usually tournaments are held between identical robots, for example, humanoid robots from Booster Robotics, which are programmed by different teams. But this time, the audience was surprised by a tournament between Unitree's humanoid and four-legged robots. Who do you think won? Robot dogs were newcomers to the game, so anybody want to bet on beginner's luck? If you don't, then you've made the right choice. The humanoids won. By the way, the Booster Robotics robots are pretty fast. They can do horizontal and vertical splits and rotate their joints 360. Not sure how that's useful in soccer. We've never seen Ronaldo do splits. Have we? High Torque Robotics brought their two-legged mini-robots to IROS this year. They run on the company's proprietary single-board computer-based operating system and can walk, dance, and win the hearts of the audience. In fact, these little guys are very agile. They run, jump, and flip, all thanks to the 12 motors in their legs. Meanwhile, the robot supports reinforcement learning and navigation functions. Unitree Robotics seems to have a finger in every pie. Not even before they were done at Jitex, they were already setting up shop at IROS. The developers brought their multi-caliber robots on legs and wheels, as well as two of their humanoid robots. The older model, the H1, which can do backflips, and its younger brother, the G1, which recently learned to do a 4.5 feet or 1.4 meter stand-in jump. Have you ever done one? Because that's quite an accomplishment especially for a robot, apart from the somersaults, of course. Direct Drive brought the Tita robot to the show. This nimble little guy on wheeled base can not only drive fast, adjusting to the terrain, but also walk up steps or over obstacles. Any additional equipment can be easily attached to the robot and launched, for example, to patrol an area. TETA can collect 3D data of objects in real time, achieving accuracy of 0.04 inches or a single millimeter. The robot can make its own decisions within a given task and is able to navigate and recognize objects under the most adverse lighting conditions. What a capable little guy. Elephant Robotics unveiled its Mercury series humanoid robot at the show this year. Despite the rather plain appearance, the robots can do quite a few things. All thanks to the use of NVIDIA Jetson Xavier and Jetson Nano as the main control modules. Mercury B and X1 can map terrain, understand where they are, and plan a path around obstacles. And of course, the robots can be taught to do something with their hands. However, the payload capacity is small, about a couple of pounds or a kilo depending on the model. 
Instituto Italiano di Tecnologia and Fourier Intelligence also brought their humanoid robots. They were presenting the ErgoCub project, which aims to ease the labor of workers in the future by replacing them with robots. I bet they're excited. And Fourier was demonstrating an improved version of its GR robot. The Center for Robotics and Biosystems at Northwestern University in the U.S. presented results on robot avatars at IROS. The DexNex teleoperated system allows a robot to be precisely controlled without any prior training. In this case, a human acts as usual while the robot adapts to the task, taking into account its own capabilities. And the haptic feedback seriously improves the result of the interaction. Khalifa University in Abu Dhabi, which incidentally was the organizer of the conference, presented its Hubo robot. This bio-inspired robot is designed to help conserve the population of the endangered red-winged bustards. It cases bird flocks, sneaks in when the time is right for some intelligence gathering, and sends the info out to zoologists for further analysis. Now, there was a lot more going on at both shows, but we're out of time, folks, so subscribe to the channel, like our videos, and check out our Instagram for more from the world of high tech.